This is a Black Nouveau web exclusive. This uh, place will be named uh, forever after her as the Juvenile Justice Center. The intelligence of this black woman made her a woman of first, attorney, alderman, judge, and secretary of state for Wisconsin. Belle Phillips, a Milwaukee native, graduated from North Division High School. At a time that there were very few blacks in the school, maybe six in the whole school. She went on to graduate from Howard University, a historically black university, where she said her future was shaped. It was my first um, experience in a whole black thing. And um, I was so taken with some of the people who were there, like Howard Thurman, who was very well known in the religious world, and E. Franklin Frazier, and Alain Locke, and wonderful black leaders, you know, intellectuals. And I was, it, it's my first experience of really knowing who I was in our history. After Howard University, Val Phillips came home to the University of Wisconsin-Madison to attend law school. Her collection of firsts began here. And what was it like going from Howard University and then going to UW-Madison? Oh, it was so different. Uh, the, the law school was difficult, of course. And um, I laughed when Mr. When people say, of course, I was the first African-American woman to graduate from the law school. But that was, a, and people make such a big thing of that. But it really, there were only about 15 women in the whole school. So it was very, it was very easy to be the first black African-American woman. So it wasn't a big deal. 1956, Phillips added to her first and became the first woman and first African-American member of the Common Council in Milwaukee. One reason, reapportionment of districts. We created a ward that had nothing, had no, I could have run for uh, the county board, I could have run for a uh, state representative, because it were all these are open seats, because there was nothing. It was just like a new ward, and we happened to be smack in the middle of it, you know. How long were you on the Common Council? Almost 16 years. 16? 16. Wow. Mm-hmm. Just a little short of 16 years. These cats are just too dumb, <coughs> just too dumb to know when they have something going for them. You know, things are, are, are it's, it's bad enough to have to deal with, with, with a bigot, but when you got a dumb bigot. And then I left from the council to, um, to be on the bench. And then, uh, because <coughs> I was not reelected, I, I was appointed, so I was really not elected ever, mm -hmm. because it was there had never been a woman uh, uh, judge in in Milwaukee County, and there was only one in the state, way up north, and she won an election about two weeks before I was appointed. You were an attorney. Was being a judge one of your goals? Uh, not really. No. Pat Lucy appointed me because he, um, he, he's the one that said, well, I want, uh, my first appointment is going to be you on the bench. I said, well, you got to win first, boy, you know. And so he said, oh, I'm going to win, and he did. And he did appoint me immediately, as soon as, he could, as, soon as there was a vacancy. And um, George Bowman was on the bench at the time, and I was at Children's Court. That's why they renamed the Children's Court after me. But George Bowman, I'll never forget, he said, you know, Val, if you're really sort of uh, hard and want to you know, send everybody to jail, you'll soften. And if you come on, if, you, if you're soft, and sympathetic and kind of a tearjerker, you'll harden as you go along. And he was quite right, you know. I guess I was um, be a little, I, I wouldn't say I ever got to be hard. And that was hard. How did you come to run for Secretary of State? Well, because um, the, uh, when there was reapportionment, 
there was no reapportionment for 30 years. And this uh, Secretary of State Zimmerman said that he was not going to okay any election unless they had reapportionment. And at the time, I was not, I had burned for nothing, you know. But I thought that was so brave. And I just sort of thought that I kept in, kind of in touch with, with, the, with the Secretary of State. And of course, the Secretary of State on a national level is very important. So I had no idea. I just thought that would be kind of fun. And it was a statewide election and a new challenge. So I decided to do it. And you won on a statewide election? A statewide, um, as we speak to this day, there's no other black in the state of Wisconsin who has won a statewide election, except me.